Today we're going to take a tour of some of the best neighborhoods in Renton, Washington, specifically in the East Renton Highlands neighborhood. If you don't already know me, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a residential real estate agent with John L. Scott in Renton, Washington and the surrounding areas. I'm going to show you some of the best neighborhoods in East Renton Highlands. Now, of course, there are many more East Renton Highlands neighborhoods that are great, but I can't do them all in one video. So if you have a question about a specific neighborhood, go ahead and comment below and be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications so you see my next upcoming video. East Renton Highlands is located in Renton, Washington between the Renton Highlands and Issaquah. The borders are roughly Duval Avenue, Highway 169, May Valley Road, and Cedar Grove Road. When I grew up here as a kid, the area was mostly wooded. Since the 2000s, we have seen many newer housing communities appear and less woods. It is a highly desired area. People are drawn to this area because of its rural feel and highly rated schools and its proximity to Seattle and Tacoma. It is pretty much right in the middle of the two big cities. Many of the older homes come with a little bit of land, while the newer homes are a bit closer. To the communities I will show you today are Amberwood, Saddlebrook, the Enclave, Coalfield Crossing, Summerfield, Summerwind, Liberty Ridge, Maple Hills, Maplewood Heights, and Briarwood. The first neighborhood I'm going to show you is Amberwood. Amberwood is located off of Northeast 4th Street just before it changes to 128th Avenue Southeast. It is served by the Issaquah School District. It is a small community of 37 homes. The latest sales price in 2020 was $868,000. There were two phases. Phase 1 homes were built in 2003 and are approximately 2,400 square foot to 3,000 square foot. They were built by Long Classic Homes. Phase two are 2,700 square foot to 4,000 square foot and were built in 2007 by Mitchell Fine Homes and Pacific Landmark Homes. 86% are owner occupied. Saddlebrook is located off of 156th Avenue Southeast. It is served by the Renton School District and was built in 2013 by American Classic Homes. There are 15 homes in the development. The homes are around 3,500 square foot. 93% are owner occupied and 80% of them have the original owners. The last sale was in 2018 for $935,000. The Enclave at Bridal Ridge is also located off of 156th Avenue Southeast. It is neighbors to Saddlebrook. The homes were built by American Classic Homes as well in 2016. There are 32 homes in the development. The sizes range from 3,000 square foot to 5,200 square foot. The last sale in 2019 was for $910,000. 84% are owner occupied and it is served by the Renton School District. Fulfilled Crossing is located off of 128th Avenue Southeast. The homes were built by Shafee Custom Homes. It is served by the Isquah School District and it is a community of 31 homes. It is close to the Briarwood Ice Center. The latest sales price in 2018 was $840,000. The homes were built in 1996 and are approximately 2,600 square foot to almost 3,800 square foot. 87% are owner occupied. Summerfield is located off of Maple Valley Highway or State Route 169. It is served by the Renton School District. There are 114 homes. The average sales price in 2019 was $523,000 and the sizes range from 1,700 square foot to 2,500 square foot. They were built in 1990 by First Builders. 89% are owner-occupied, and 36% have lived in their homes for over 15 years. Summerwind is located off of Northeast Sunset Boulevard. Summerwind is served by the Renton School District and is a community of 290 homes. The homes were built by Henderson Homes starting in 1989. 
The average sales price in 2020 was $650,000. The sizes ranged from 1,500 square foot to 3,000 square foot. 89% are owner occupied and 38% of the owners have lived there for over 20 years. Liberty Ridge is served by Renton School District. It is a large community of 447 homes. There are six phases. The average sales price in 2020 is $508,000. The sizes range from 1,562 square foot to 4,000 square foot. The majority were built in the early 2000s and were built by Quadrant Homes, DR Horton, and Basic Ventures. 80% are owner occupied and 59% of the owners have lived there 10 to 20 years. Hills, Maplewood Heights, and Briarwood are the originally established neighborhoods in the East Renton Highlands. I don't have videos of these as they are pretty spread out communities. Maplewood Heights is served by the Renton School District. It is located off of 144th Avenue Southeast. There are 210 homes and the sizes range from 1,400 square foot to 2,700 square foot. Most of the homes were built in the 1960s to 1970s. It is a well cared for and very desired community. 81% are owner occupied and 42% have lived there for over 15 years. There is a park, Maplewood Park and Maplewood Elementary School in the boundaries. The average sales price in 2019 was $491,000. Maple Hills is one of the closest communities to Issaquah in proximity. It is served by Issaquah School District and the homes there range from 1,000 square foot to 4,000 square foot. Most of the homes there are from the 1960s to 1970s, but there are now some newer custom homes that have come in. The neighborhood encompasses Maple Hills Elementary and there's a homeowners association that has a playground, tennis courts, a ball field, and a pool. The prices in 2019 were in the mid 500,000s up to 900,000, depending on the size of the home. This area is a bit more woodsy. 31% have owned their home for over 15 years and 78% of the homes are owner occupied. The Briarwood neighborhood is located off of 128th Avenue Southeast, 160th, Lake Kathleen Drive and Jones Road. It also has a majority of homes that were built in 1960s and 1970s. There are some new housing developments going in there now, so it's changing a bit. Briarwood Elementary, Maywood Middle School, and Liberty Senior High School are all in the Briarwood area, which is Issaquah School District. Homes range from 1,000 to 4,000 square foot. The larger square footage homes are newer and more custom. The average sales price in 2019 was $550,000. So what did you think of this tour? Was it pretty cool? Did you get a lot of information? If so, give me a thumbs up below and a nice comment and like and share with your friends. I will see you next time.